In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. My name is Arisha. I am from Government College University, Faisalabad. First of all, I am thankful to ICAS 2022 for providing me this opportunity to present my e-poster entitled Post-Traumatic Effects of COVID-19 on Pakistan's General Population. We all are well aware of the fact that past few years had been really challenging for the whole world as a pandemic outbreak hit the world immensely. World Health Organization has declared COVID-19 the sixth public health emergency of international concern. During this time, people from all over the world has faced financial crises, change in physical and mental health, and development of anxiety and depression. We have investigated such changes in Pakistan's general population through an online survey. Approximately 1,100 respondents have recorded their responses. Survey form was available online to collect data from 14th May 2022 and it took three weeks to complete. After collecting the data, it was exported to SPSS for descriptive and statistical analysis. Response from males was 56.5% while rest was from females. Among all four provinces, most of the respondents were from Punjab, which is 44.5% of total, followed by 23% from Sindh, 20% from KPK and 12% from Balochistan. Moving towards COVID-related information, main source of COVID news was social media as per expectation, followed by television and news websites. This was some of the socio-demographic and COVID-related information. Our main concern was with tracing the impact of COVID pandemic on physical and mental health, financial conditions, anxiety, depression, and immunity to facilitate the scientific community by providing them the post-COVID scenarios for future research. We investigated the change in physical health, change in mental health, change in financial conditions, development of anxiety and depression, and last but not the least, how much the respondents trust in their immunity to recover from a disease. It turned out to be the mental health that is affected the most. Nearly 29% of people had extremely negative effect on physical health, while 34% of people experienced extremely negative effect on mental health, which is significantly high percentage as compared to physical health. This negative effect on mental health is threatening as it directly triggers the development of anxiety and depression and indirectly decreases the trust in immunity of a person to recover from a disease. Financial conditions of people were also negatively affected in COVID pandemic. The overall study concluded that COVID-19 pandemic has negatively influenced Pakistan's general population in many ways. This pandemic has disclosed many scientific research areas across the globe. Such natural disasters act as a natural experiment that can never be organized in laboratories. So it serves as a natural experiment to study human behaviors and responses at large scale. We have provided the basis for correlative research for future work. At present, we need to educate people to make behavioral changes which may include control, following and monitoring the sources for news avoiding overstressing and spreading awareness regarding mental health as it is seen to be affected the most. At national level, government needs to develop programs like SAS emergency cash programs to meet the needs of financially unstable people in such critical times. At the end, I would like to thank all of you for your precious time. Your like and share will encourage us. Thank you.